Hi, welcome to Botanical Gardens at Royal Victoria Park in Bath. And this is spring, as you could see. It, the trees are full of flowers. Wow, it's happiness so everywhere. Oh, nice. You know, that's what's for an apple tree. Magnolias in different colors. Magnolia? Is it? This botanical garden was formed in like 1887. Magnolia. Yeah? There are nine acres of land. Loads of different trees. Of course, flowering now. Wow. There's a pond. This is... There's a small stream. I can't see any leaves. It's just full of flowers. Is it normal cherry? Edible? This is a cherry tree. This is a cherry tree, cherry bloom. Smells so good. This is another cherry. How does it smell? Um, it looks like it it's not edible. There are lots of cherries apparently. It's only a few of them are mm -hmm. edible. It's a prune but, tree. Um, the other ones are edible for mostly for birds. And um, there's so there's so many flowers. You forget about these small ones who are on the ground. This must be quite natural for a botanical garden anywhere around the world. There are flowers here as well. And this is a really and nice place great. if you're coming with children. Uh, there's a, even a children Cherry. playground around. There are Cherries. lots of places to walk here. Bath is That's a beautiful city itself as well. The name Bath comes from the Romans because Romans, uh, when they were ruling England, this part of England, <laughs> these guys are neglected now because there's so many tree flowers from big trees. The name what is this one? Bath. Daffodils. No, this is not cherry, is it? Apples, yeah. Apple tree. Apple malak. And tiny blue flowers. Everyone is flowering, everyone is happy. Spring. And Apparently, Bath is the largest city in the county of Somerset, England. Red leaves. And the Roman yes. built Bath. A fruit. In 2011, the population was 88,859 people. Push. As a sky falling with flower petals. Bath is a UNESCO a World Heritage. You must be looking for some food. It's leaves. Yeah. Wild May peace prevail on earth. Look at this tree. Look at that. I don't know what color is this. What color is this? Is it uh, orangey? No. Huh? What color? Ask me, mum. That's how it's branched off. The city became a spa with the Latin name Aqua Sulis, the Wart of Sulis. 60 after death. So the small one. When the Romans built Bath and the and a temple in the valley Red. of the river Avon. Although Some seed. hot springs were it known even before then. Oh my god. Bath Abbey was it's found in the 7th century and became a religious center. Flying insects. These are leaves. And, it's field and of if you visit Bath, you will be one of the 1.3 <coughs> million people who visit Bath every year. Blue flowers. What is this? The roses are not ready yet. They'll come a bit late, isn't it? Oh, this smells. This is powerful. This is. 
Is it flower or is it leaf? It is a flower. In Iron Age, yeah. the hills oh, yeah, and local a flower. The leaves are here localities down. such as yeah, Barthampton yeah, Down and this is saw flower. human activity yeah. from Mesolithic period. Oh. Several Bronze Age round barrels were opened by John Skinner in 18th century. And there is tree and here is a pond here. A temple was constructed after Rainwater death here. Si between 60 and 70. And, a good ground and a for bathing the complex was built up over here, the next birds. 300 years. And water flowers. Engineers draw oak flower. piles oh, into the mud here. to provide a stable foundation and surrounded the spring with regular stone chambers lined with lead. The second century, the spring was enclosed with a wooden barrel vaulted structure that housed caldarium, a hot bath, tapidarium, warm bath, and frigidarium, a cold bath. This was a living tree actually and uh, apparently the tree was dying and look at an artist had an impression to carve on the tree without taking it down. This is preserving the nature and keeping it as it is. What did you buy? Um, locally made carrot cake with some flowers and seeds on the top and coffee with whipped cream. What did you buy? I got lemon syrup ice cream and a carrot cake. Okay. I got some ice cream and uh, cheese. Um, cheese and onion. That's for your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> what did you buy? <laughs> uh, this is a coffee shop inside the right. park and the coffee was really amazing. I'm not joking, it's really nice. Yeah, we can remember you now. And the ice cream was changed as well. I'm trying to it too. Are you going to move? We're going to move today, yeah. It's a nice place. It's nice, but it's quite hard work. It is, isn't it? Well, I keep setting it up. So yeah. It works like with roller shutters. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <You're> amazing. <laughs> All right. Good day. There we go. I'm not sure how old it is. Tree. Probably it's been uh, brought down because it was dying or something like that. Because in this that's country, your picnic. Uh, mm -hmm. they don't cut Very trees. Very nice. Coffee is yummy, Yeah, Is it? Yeah. It's not. I'm thinking to have another one. Another one. Is it a big no, it's no. just a normal, but it's so yummy. But our coffee was not very good in the morning today because the milk was not going off. This is wild garlic, and while we were sitting, we could smell it. And, uh, I can smell it actually. Since then, we found wild garlic somewhere in a wild place. And ah, we brought it home and we ate children it heaven. with sandwich. It was really nice. And we even cooked it. I think we were cooking okay, some yeah. fish, and I put that wild garlic, and it was really good. It's very aromatic. <laughs> so, interesting walking places. Me. Of course not. Some trees are still not ready. They're not leaves mm. yet, but they will come. They must be late bloomers. <laughs> That's Marley. Marley's favorite job, chasing the pigeons. She loves it. Look at this color. this tree cherry look at that the this bottom is so really old. old cherry tree and this is new
and this is the stream I was talking about. It's just further down, and it's amazing the way they made it. And the natural spring water comes from somewhere. 100 odd years, 150, 200 years old. Four people. So I'm nice managing them, see. Sir. Look at that. The unwanted trees. branches, they cut them all, like so that's why the tree can survive. Just imagine for yeah, 100 years it's been staying in that same place. It's been looking around all this area. Yeah. But this is and old one. Yeah, and they live, they live. Um, the apartments are small, but still, because of the location, a small two tiny bedroom apartment can go up to a million pounds. Now we are walking in the bar, in the town centre. The shops are this. This is after the lockdown, after the COVID. Now they are slowly coming back to normal. Russell Bromley. <laughs> Russell Bromley is here. This is a very good uh, time of Christmas. Thank you very much for watching. If you like, you can subscribe.